Can women be sexually active after menopause? What is the relationship between sexuality and self-esteem? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, women can be sexually active after menopause. While they may experience changes in sexual function due to hormonal decline, many women continue to enjoy a satisfying sexual life during the stage. Sexuality and self-esteem are interconnected. Healthy self-esteem can improve sexual life, as increased self-confidence and positive body image contribute to sexual satisfaction. Conversely, sexual problems can impact self-esteem. Psychology behind fetishes. Psychologists and sex therapists study fetishes to better understand their impact on people's sexual lives and how they can affect interpersonal relationships. Most fetishes are believed to be harmless and can be a normal part of human sexuality. Relationship between sex and health. Sex can have numerous health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and improving mood. Research on pornography. Research on pornography spans a wide range of disciplines, including psychology, sociology, anthropology, and gender studies, exploring its effects and role in society. Role of pheromones. Pheromones, chemicals released by the body, are believed to influence sexual attraction and reproductive behavior in humans, although their exact impact is still a subject of scientific debate. Screening tests. Regular STD screening tests are important, especially for sexually active individuals or those with multiple sexual partners, as many STDs can be present without obvious symptoms. Self-help. Techniques. In addition to medical treatments, there are self-help techniques that can help men manage erectile dysfunction, such as masturbation to maintain erectile function and the use of penis rings to maintain erection. Sensual bath ritual. Many women enjoy a sensual bath ritual as part of foreplay, which may include bathing together with aromatic bath salts, candles, and relaxing music to create an intimate and soothing atmosphere. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality encompasses a wide range of sexual orientations, including heterosexuality, homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, among others. Sexual education. Some people use pornography as a tool for sexual education, although this can be problematic due to the unrealistic and unhealthy representation of sexuality. Sexual fantasies. Many women turn to sexual fantasies during masturbation to increase excitement and pleasure. These fantasies can vary widely and may include erotic situations, locations, or imaginary individuals. Sexual pleasure. Pleasure is an important aspect of human sexuality. Learning to communicate about sexual preferences and needs can improve satisfaction in intimate relationships. Sexuality and art history. Sexuality has been a recurring theme in art throughout history, from prehistoric cave paintings to modern representations in contemporary art. Sexuality in old age. Sexuality does not stop with age. Many people continue to enjoy a satisfying sex life in old age, although they may face different physical and emotional challenges. Shoe fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from observing, touching, or even smelling certain types of footwear, such as high heels or boots. This fetish may be related to the shape, material, or smell of the shoes. Sleep benefits. Masturbation before bedtime can help some women fall asleep more easily as it releases relaxing hormones and reduces stress. Smart toys. With the advancement of technology, smart sex toys have emerged that can be controlled via mobile apps, allowing couples to connect remotely and customize their sexual experience. Spontaneity versus planning. While some women prefer spontaneous and unpredictable sexual encounters, others may feel more comfortable and relaxed when sexual activities are planned or scheduled in advance. Stimulation of erogenous zones. In addition to the clitoris, 
Women have a variety of erogenous zones on the body that can be stimulated during foreplay, such as the nipples, neck, inner thighs, and ears. In countries like Sweden and Finland, sexual education policies based on the positive sexual health approach have been implemented, promoting sexual well-being, autonomy, and respect for diversity. Taboo and acceptance. Some cultures may consider certain fetishes taboo, while in others they are more accepted or even celebrated. This reflects cultural differences in the perception of sexuality and individual expression. Technology and virtual reality. Pornography is undergoing technological advancements, such as virtual reality, offering more immersive and realistic experiences for viewers. The health benefits of sexual activity. Consensual and pleasurable sexual activity can have numerous health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and improving mood. The importance of foreplay. Foreplay, including kissing, caressing, and other forms of stimulation before intercourse, is crucial for many people to increase arousal and pleasure during sex. The influence of religion. Religious beliefs can have a significant impact on attitudes towards sexuality, whether by promoting sexual abstinence before marriage, prohibiting certain types of sexual behavior, or encouraging chastity and moderation. The role of female pleasure. For a long time, female sexual pleasure has been overlooked or minimized compared to male pleasure. However, recognizing and valuing female pleasure is essential for equitable and satisfying sexuality for all individuals. Timely treatment. It is essential to seek medical treatment as soon as possible if an STD is suspected, as early diagnosis and appropriate treatment can prevent serious complications and reduce transmission to others. Toys for the clitoris. Approximately 70 to 80% of women require clitoral stimulation to achieve orgasm. That's why many sex toys are specifically designed for clitoral stimulation. Types of anorgasmia. There are two main types of anorgasmia. Primary, in which the individual has never experienced an orgasm, and secondary, where the individual has had orgasms in the past but no longer experiences them. Use of sensual cosmetics. Cosmetic products such as massage oils, flavored lubricating gels, and scented candles can be fun and sensory elements to incorporate into foreplay, stimulating multiple senses at the same time. Variation in techniques. Women use a wide variety of techniques during masturbation, which can include direct clitoral stimulation, vaginal penetration, nipple stimulation, among others. Variety of foreplay. Foreplay can range from gentle and romantic activities to more intense and daring experiences, depending on the couple's preferences. From a sensual dance to erotic role-playing, the options are endless. Variety of stimuli. Foreplay can involve a wide range of physical and emotional stimuli, ranging from gentle caresses to seductive words. For many women, emotional and mental stimulation is as important as physical stimulation. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.